You know what feels good? Breaking stuff. Nothing quite scratches the old video game itch like seeing a crate, walking up to it, and smashing it to bits. Hi, I'm Iron Rock, and this is my game dev journey. I wasn't really enjoying how when you destroyed an enemy, they just kind of poofed and left some blood or bone particles. Camera shake, screen flash, nothing quite was doing what I wanted. Then I watched a lovely little video by Lost Relic. He's making a dope looking game called Blood and Mead and was kind enough to share his destructible object techniques. I highly suggest checking him out if you haven't already. To break it down simply, on each object you want to be able to destroy, you add a reference to the destructible version of the same object. For something like a crate or maybe a chest, you'd pop that bad boy into your art program of choice I'm using Photoshop here because it's easier to cut things up in. Then you would slice the object up into separate destroyed sprites and import it back into Unity. For enemies, they were already separated into different sprites for each body part. So once I had it set up on things like crates, it was super simple to plop it into my various baddies throughout the level. The difference is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Watching enemies burst apart on a kill shot feels so much better than having a small little death particle. Thanks, Lost Relic. But why add destructibles in the first place? Why did I feel it necessary to take some of my already limited time to create some stuff you can break or some flying body parts? Besides the fact that game feel and the sought after juice that breaking things into pieces brings, there are two reasons why I found this a worthy endeavor. Reason one, the bait. When a player breaks their first crate and it just so happens to drop something shiny, you let them in on a little bug that will never leave their ear. Breaking stuff equals loot. I'm not sure if the loot will have any lasting consequences other than a score multiplier of some sort or three hidden coins in each level that you have to seek out to get a perfect score but it gives a strong reason for players to seek out these breakable objects and thus more investment in the environment around them. Imagine breaking 50 vases and never finding anything. What's the likelihood you're gonna still go and seek out those hard to reach vases? Pretty low. Throw a couple collectibles or some health recovery in there and suddenly you've got players scouring every nook and cranny of your level design. Reason two, interactivity equals engagement. There's a sense of engagement you get outside of the core gameplay when you can do things that don't purely exist to move you from start to finish in a level. Engagement through interaction is one of the easiest ways to subtly keep your players involved in what's going on around them. Other things that fall into this category are fun idle animations, characters who talk to themselves as you progress, etc. So now I get to think of all the fun stuff I can hide in these crates. And what else can I destroy? Swinging logs, windows, villagers, the options are all over the place. If you have any thoughts, let me know. Some other fun news is I've managed to push through and create the first full area of Biome 2. I struggled on this for a while, but finally managed to figure out how I wanted this first level to introduce the players to new mechanics, as well as adding some fun new environment features for players to climb on and trudge through. It just needs a bit more polishing and it should be pretty sweet. Next up is filling the spaces that feel a bit empty with either nefarious traps or information. Maybe bits of story, or a little knight talking out loud to himself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, or if you have any ideas for the game. And while you're at it, why don't you wish list it is a good night to die in the Steam link listed below. Thanks! Thanks for watching, and take care of yourselves.